Hello, everybody, and welcome in to the Battle of FDU Trivia Competition between the Metropolitan and Florham campuses of Fairleigh Dickinson University. Today, squaring off, we have the baseball coaches from both campuses, starting with Knights head baseball coach Rob Datoma. Rob, welcome to the show, my man, and Battle of FDU Trivia. Thanks, Roma. Thanks for having me. How are we feeling today? You, is your trivia mind on? You feeling good? Well, anyone that knows me knows I like to be prepared, so I do not like feeling unprepared right now and not knowing what's about to happen. But we're excited, so let's go. Well, let's hope we can go 1-0 and today from the Metropolitan campus. Sure. Hopefully this will help people to realize we have two different campuses and two different baseball programs, but we'll and see. two different colored logos, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to get started here. Here's how the rules of the game work, Rob. Okay. I'm going to ask you a set of 10 questions, some regular, some multiple choice, some about your opponent, Jamie Quinn, who we'll have on the show later to see how much he knows and how much he might know about you. Okay. It's simple, right? Question, answer, correct or incorrect. And we roll from there. Good. Sounds simple. All right, let's do it. Battle of FDU question number one for head baseball coach of the Knights, Rob Datoma. Who in 2019 won the College World Series? Which level? Division one. Division one, College World Series. No Googling back there. <laughs> <laughs> do I have a time clock or what do I have here? We'd like it to be under 10 seconds. Let me think. Don't want to mess this up. Vanderbilt. Yes, correct. Second question. Who did Vanderbilt play in the College World Series? That's good because I was just about to say who they beat, so I'm glad, uh, <laughs> glad I didn't shout it out for Michigan. There you go. Another correct answer. So look at that. You're off to a good start, my man. <laughs> it took a lot. Of, my ears were uh, running into each other. So. Now we're going to get deeper and really see your baseball knowledge. Question number three. In Major League Baseball, during the 2019 season, who led all of the MLB in batting average? Mm -hmm. I pay more attention to college. Uh, I'm going to go uh, uh, Mookie Betts. Incorrect. The answer is Tim Anderson from the Chicago White Sox. If Jamie gets that, good luck. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Multiple choice. I'll give you three answers. What was his batting average? A, 329. B, 335. Or C, 339. Let's go with B. Correct. <laughs> there you go. Let me guess. That was a 33.3% chance. <laughs> right, one and three, yeah. One and oh on question number three for you, Mr. Datoma. All right, moving on. Excuse me, question four. Question number five. When, or I should say, what year was the first televised baseball game? Ooh, this multiple choice? It is. <laughs> a, I honestly wanted to see if you'd guess first. <laughs> 1939, B, 1942, or C, 1953? First televised. I'm going to go with 1953. That is incorrect. Of the other two, I'll give you a secondary guess. No points, though. The 40s. What was the 1940s? 1939. Wow. Would you have believed that? As wow. a secondary question, okay, this counts as question number six in the Battle of FDU. Who was the president in 1939? It's multiple choice. Don't worry. A, Calvin Coolidge. B, Harry S. Truman. Or C, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. C. Correct. Hey, at least we know our presidents. <laughs> Pretty good with history. <laughs> Perfect. Now, Mr. Datoma, moving on to questions of the FDU like. Are you prepared for this? No, nope, no, nope, but we'll give it a go. 
Perfect. Here we go. Okay. Question number seven. What is the handle for the official FDU University Instagram and Twitter? Uh, at FDU, what's new? There you go. Correct. I hope you know that you're a social media buff yourself. <laughs> a little bit harder though. Question number eight. What three words are featured? I can't, it makes me laugh because I don't even know if I knew this. What three words are featured below the official FDU crest? It's the tagline. Multiple choice, though. We're helping you out here, okay? A, meet, study, succeed. B, personal, global, transformational. C, achieve, attain ascend i think i've seen it multiple times i go with b correct there we go and think you've learned all that information in less than a year that's yeah. for 400 recruiting tours you've seen a lot of different uh, things around campus it's funny how much you notice and how much you realize wow hey from me to you i'm proud that you just <laughs> questions Brett. but now we dive deeper into your opponent okay Two more questions remain, Mr. Datoma, off of a, a great first round, I believe, to start the Battle of FDU. Know your opponent, Mr. Jamie Quinn. Here we go. Question one about Mr. Quinn. What team, excuse me, what two colleges did Jamie Quinn attend? Your hint is they're both located in the state of New York. I know one is Queens College. Okay. So let me guess here. One of two points, correct. <laughs> I mean, uh, it only makes sense if he was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have to guess on like Queensboro Community College. Not a bad guess. It was SUNY Old Westbury. Ah, should have got that. Yeah. SUNY Old Westbury for the first two years and then a transfer to Queens College where he finished his career. Hey. Better than zero, though. Now, so half a point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a two point question. You got one. That's better than zero. All right. Here we go. Now, this is your last question, okay, of your battle of FDU round. What NEC school did Jamie Quinn coach at? Uh, LIU. Correct. Fantastic. <laughs> LIU Brooklyn, Jamie Quinn was the assistant baseball coach there in 2011. So those are your ties to the NEC. Rob Datoma, fantastic job. Really. Right. Welcome back to the competitor in this week's edition of the Battle of FDU between the Metropolitan and Florham campuses of Fairleigh Dickinson University. Now we have on the head baseball coach from the Devils, Mr. Jamie Quinn. Jamie Thanks for joining the Battle of FDU. Coach Romo, welcome. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having uh, uh, Rob and myself on. It should be fun. Are you excited? Are you nervous? How are we feeling? Excited. Excited to see your face. And I get to see Coach Satoma and Devils and Knights logos behind you. It's awesome. I'm excited. Hashtag one university. All right. Without further ado, we're going to get into it, okay? Rob answered these 10 questions already, okay? Now it's time for you to answer some questions, both about baseball, about FDU, about Rob, okay? Then we'll bring Rob back on, and we'll give you guys the answers. So, Jamie Quinn, question number one. In 2019, what Division I college baseball team won the College World Series? Vanderbilt. Correct. Question number two. Who was their opponent in that College World Series? Uh, Michigan. Correct. Very nice. Two for two to start off your day. Question number three of the Major League Baseball variety. In 2019, who led the overall MLB in batting average. Uh, 
2019. Yes, sir. MLB. So I get a, a National or American League no. hint? <laughs> um, no idea, to be honest. Tim Anderson of the Chicago White Sox. Would have never have guessed that. Okay, now I got a multiple choice question for you off of that. During that season, which of the three batting averages was the one he finished with? A, 329, B, 335, or C, 339? I'm going to go with A. That is incorrect. The answer was B, 335. All right, Coach Q. Moving forward on today's Battle of S. <laughs> question number five. In what year was the first Major League Baseball game televised? Multiple choice. A, 1939. B, 1942. C, 1953. I'll say C. Incorrect. The answer is A, 1939. Wow. And that was actually on NBC, which at the time was not called NBC, but eventually became NBC. In 1939, Coach Quinn, another multiple choice for you. Who was the president of the United States? A, Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> B, Harry S. Truman, or C, oh. Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Wow. Uh, goodness. Didn't know I needed to brush up my U.S. history, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go with FDR. Correct. Yeah. 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 Coach Quinn, I am proud of you. Wow. Yeah, listen, here on the Battle of FDU, we bring everything your way. We're going to open up the mind, and we're going to make you think a little bit. Love it. Now, going into questions of more your variety, and I think you're going to be really confident on some of these, okay? Question number seven. What is the official FDU Twitter and Instagram handle? For the overall university. At FDU, what's new? Correct. Very nice. Question eight. What three words are featured underneath the official FDU logo, also known as the tagline? You have three multiple choice okay. choices. Okay. A, meet. Study, succeed. B, personal, global, transformational. C. B. Don't need it. It's B. You're correct. <laughs> I, knew, I knew two of the three words. So once I heard the multiple choice, I was like, all right. We should have made it transformational, personal, global, and really messed with you. Yeah, all you right. should have. All right, Mr. Quinn. You have two more questions remaining in the Battle of FDU, okay? Mm -hmm. These questions pertain to Knights head coach Rob DeToma. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, well, here we go. Question number nine. In 2019, this is a two-part question, okay? Rob DeToma was the assistant coach where – and in what category did his team lead NCAA Division I baseball? Uh, Fordham University and stolen bases. That's my generic answer for part two of that question. Boom. That is correct. Two for two on Mr. Rob DeToma to start. Very nice. All right. Each of you got a two-part question, so it's fair on both ends. Last question. Love it. One university, Coach. Last question of the day. Here it is, Coach Quinn, okay? What 
Mac Freedom School did Rob Datoma coach for? Uh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Manhattanville. That is correct. Want to know? If you had to guess, each of you gets a guess how many points you each got 11 total possible points. Okay. Rob, you start. How many do you think you got right out of 11? Nine. Okay. Jamie. Eight. Jamie, you are correct. And Rob, you also got eight correct. So you both went eight for 11. You might ask, is there a tiebreaker? No. This is how this works. Okay. <laughs> this is the battle of FDU. So next week okay when we have our next participants on i believe they'll be in the sports of men basketball rob you got to make sure mr horrenda is geared up and ready to get the lead back for your team and coach q you better make sure mr slanovic is geared up so he can try and take the lead back for your team over the course of six weeks whoever's on top of the leaderboard florum versus metropolitan that will be the winner of battle of fdu Sounds good. I'll tell, I'll tell Coach Herinda to stop making me uh, married with children <laughs> videos and let's focus on what we have to do here. That's, yeah, that's win a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you gentlemen have for the battle of FDU before we get out of here today? Got anything, Jamie? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun. Oh, well, yeah, I've got to get on these things more often. That was fun. Coach Romo and and his sidekick, you do a good job putting this together and uh, trying to stump us. And they got us a couple times. Thank you for joining this edition of the Battle of FDU.